Бажаю здоров'я, слава Україні, героям слава. Суджа, це Україна. На правах міського голови Суджи піднімаємо прапор України. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Давай, брат! Служу українському народу! Честь! Russian President Vladimir Putin promised that poorly trained conscripts would not be sent to fight in Ukraine. However, the front line has now crossed into Russian territory and families of conscripts stationed in the Kursk region are sounding the alarm about their loved ones. Dozens of messages from people claiming to be family members of Russian conscripts who went missing in the Kursk region are circulating on various social networks. As CNN writes, messages on Russian telegram channels over the past few days have shown how unprepared Russia was for such an attack. When tanks attacked the border at three in the morning, there were only conscripts there defending themselves. They didn't see a single contract soldier. They didn't see anyone at all. My son called later and said, Mom, we're in shock, wrote the mother of a conscript soldier from the Kursk region. In addition, the Russian news outlet Verstka published an interview with Natalia Appel, the grandmother of one of the Russian conscripts who served in Kursk and is now considered missing. She said her grandson, Vladislav, was stationed unarmed in a village 500 meters from the border. What could the boys do? Go against Ukrainian soldiers with a shovel? She said. As CNN notes, the fact that Russia relied on conscripts to defend its border likely explains why Ukrainian forces were able to advance into Russian territory with such apparent ease. Unlike professional soldiers, conscripts receive only limited training before being sent into service as they are prohibited by law from being sent abroad and are not intended to participate in combat. Instead, Russia often deploys them on the border. But when Ukraine launched its recent surprise invasion, these conscripts suddenly found themselves on the front lines completely unprepared to defend themselves. A brazen Ukrainian military offensive into Russia's Kursk region has seen the Ukrainian armed forces seize dozens of villages, take hundreds of prisoners and force tens of thousands of civilians to evacuate. It was the largest attack on the country since World War II. As the Associated Press writes, after more than a week of fighting, Russian troops are still trying to push out the Ukrainians, but Russia turned out to be completely unprepared. Russia's Kursk, Bryansk, and Belgorod regions share a 1,160-kilometer border with Ukraine, including 245 kilometers in Kursk. That border had only token defenses before Moscow invaded Ukraine in 2022. It has since been reinforced with checkpoints on key roads and occasional field fortifications, but building a solid defense remains a challenge. Russia's most capable units are fighting in eastern Ukraine, where they have been advancing in several areas, making gradual but steady gains. Moscow has used these regions to launch airstrikes and missile strikes into Ukraine, but lacks sufficient ground forces there. Due to the border's capacity and lack of manpower, shadowy groups of pro-Kiev special forces previously carried out raids on Belgorod and Bryansk. Russian drones, surveillance equipment and intelligence assets have been massed in eastern Ukraine, helping Kyiv secretly amass troops near the border under the cover of dense forests. Retired General Andriy Gurulev, a member of Russia's lower house of parliament, criticized the military for failing to protect the border. Unfortunately, the group of forces guarding the border did not have their own intelligence assets. Nobody likes to see the truth in reports. Everyone just wants to hear that everything is fine, he said. Russian military commanders initially relied on warplanes and helicopters to try to stem the onslaught. At least one Russian attack helicopter was shot down and another damaged. At the same time, Moscow began to pull in reinforcements, which managed 
to slow down Ukraine's advance, but was unable to completely block the Ukrainian maneuver due to the vast forests. Russia seems to do quite poorly when it has to react dynamically to this kind of situation. Russian forces do much better when they operate with prepared defenses, fixed lines, more of a positional war, said military analyst Michael Kaufman of the Carnegie Endowment. Kaufman noted that the Russian reserves that arrived in the Kursk area seemed to have no combat experience and had problems coordinating with each other. In one case, a military convoy carelessly parked on the side of the road near a combat zone shortly after the invasion began and was quickly hit by the Ukrainian missiles. This is a mistake that Russian troops on the line of control do not usually make, Kaufman noted.